Hey guys, Crew of Blind Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. Aaron. And Aaron, Aaron. we're here to watch a movie that you haven't seen. Aaron. The Last Samurai. Yes. Which we haven't built up at all. You don't have any expectations. No. Not at all. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I know. I've never I've never watched this movie. Um, I think I've seen like the the cover art. For like the VHS or whatever. How old is this movie? Was it DVD? Movie? I watched it in um, 1940s. DVD, but I've only seen this movie in four by three. Okay, really? Wow. Yeah. Okay, um, so I know a I know a dude gets kicked in the balls, and I know like Tom Cruise is a samurai. So you know the base most basic of premise and something that 99 percent of people have watched it don't notice because it's in the background. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. What a great reaction this is going to be. Big this time. is one of my. It is my in my top ten for me personally. Okay, I love this movie. I watch this movie once every two or three years. I really, got, I really, really, really enjoy it. Uh, I love the music, Hans Zimmer music track that we get to look forward to. Uh, but Rick, I really loved it when I saw it. Yeah, and like it's one of the movies I don't think I have. Like when I got it, I rented it. Yeah, and I watched it. Every day that I had it rented. Yeah, kids, but, we used to have to go to stores and rent <laughs> movies and take them home and then take them back rewound. Indeed. Uh, <laughs> but then it was one of those things where, like, oh, I've seen it, so yeah. I don't want to spend money and buy it. I understand. Kind of things. I just have never seen it since, yeah. as much as I love it. Interesting. So you love this movie, but you've seen it once a long time ago. I've seen it seven times. Seven times. Yeah, he rented it for a week. <laughs> a long yeah. time ago. <laughs> okay, interesting. Well, that's a pretty... For it being only Aaron having not seen it, it's still a pretty diverse spread of different perspectives. Yeah, you watch it every few years. He's seen it yeah. a week ago. I've seen it like week? eight years ago. Eight years ago for a week. One week, week eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it was. All right. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to be checking this out. Please come along. If you've never seen this movie, uh, please check it out and then check out the reaction. Mm. You can also check out the full-length reaction down below where you can watch the entire thing along with us. It is a perk over at our Patreon campaign. Patreon.com slash Blindwave. All right, you guys And subscribe. Ready? Yes, also subscribe for more movies every week. But today, The Last Samurai. Warriors blew to get their lives. What seems to have become a forgotten word. Honor. Honor. <clears throat> I get chills. I usually get chills because I recently was sick, but man, I got chills. That's why I played Ghost of Tsushima with honor. Mm. Aaron, you've seen Ken Watanabe in many things, haven't you? Was that him? Yeah. Huh? That's Ken Watanabe. This is his first This is from the 19... American movie. Is from? 2003. Oh. This is his first American movie and his first English-speaking role. Really? Yep. Like a vision? A vision. White Tiger? White Tiger Vision? White Tiger Zord? White Tiger Zord! <laughs> Muppet! Yep. Don't treasure island! Yeah, yeah. I love that that's where you go! <laughs> <laughs> what a career the man has! <laughs> that's dickless. Ah, oh, Peck! That's what it is, I thought so. I was like, man, what is he from? And I mm. thought of Ghostbusters, like, no, that's not him. Yep, you're right. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know this guy at all. I'm Eric tried it, I face blindness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if you're right or wrong. I love the doubt. I don't trust my face. My, if I trust faces anymore now. That's Tom Cruise. That is Tom Cruise. Fuck that! No, I knew that. <laughs> Something seems to be wrong with him. Good shot. <laughs> He's smiling. Yes. Nathan Albert, I'd like you to meet Mr. Omuro. Associate, the name I've given up trying to pronounce. Oh. Sit down, please. Wish it was Captain Love. I'm satisfied. You wish it was Captain Love? Yeah, it was a part of me. <laughs> That's more. That's so much. <laughs> it's 1876. And another 500 when we get the job done. How many other genuine heroes you've got lined up? He's rude. That's how it is here. <laughs> oh, it's sad. He's not wrong. <laughs> I 
Is he just drunk? <laughs> I don't, or he just doesn't want to do this? Because of what he had to do before. <clears throat> it's a mystery, it seems like. I have a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise is so intense. He has the most intense eyes. <clears throat> Be a long ride. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where was he? Uh, he was in. He was in San Francisco. San Francisco, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Captain Holbrook, this guy, that rat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Wormtail. <laughs> Peter Pettigrew. I have a wrong on tendency to tell the truth in a country where they'll never settle in me. So now, I'm very accurately trying to save other people's lives. <laughs> I love the... That was a cut there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. That was a nice transition. Hmm. Thank you very much. Just a kid. Right, you little bastard! Yeah, I think you guys got in trouble. You know what they do! You little bastards! Before we say <laughs> I don't know the way they cut to him. Like I believe he's a samurai. I know. <laughs> his, his eyes just like Masagawa. Colonel Beck, these people had nothing to do with the raids. Why are they not boarding? Oh. Oh. Are yeah. All right. <clears throat> That's a little. Not that it's a little better, but it's a little better because I was like, man, they just call them savages. Do you know, like, we did shit to these people. I'm glad that they're like, hey, these people didn't do anything. Why are we killing them? And that's yeah, it. think about what the general, his group of people, think about these people. Yeah, for sure. He obviously thinks differently. Yeah. But he still exists in this world, you know? He's rewarded for such actions. Yeah. They said he got the Medal of Honor. <laughs> I wasn't... Jeez. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but they can probably shoot with those. <laughs> this guy's... No, it's not a good idea. They don't have any rifles, Aaron. They didn't hit anything. <laughs> Mr. Graham, tell this man to fire at me. I beg your pardon? Tell this man, if he does not shoot me, I will kill him. <clears throat> Captain, if I might have a word. Tell him. <clears throat> kill him. Tell 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 him. This poor kid. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell <laughs> just prove the point of how they're not General ready. Stands. Adding yep. the anxiety of battle to them. And then how much of Algren wants to die. Sure, yeah. Fire! Fire! Good day! Good day! Good day! They already picked up that one. Either A, he proves his point, or B, he yep. dies because he wants to. Yeah. Jeez. Leaves at 6 oh my god. <laughs> I want that guy to be like Politics. Even I get the point. Politics <laughs> run wars, not soldiers. Yeah. I always thought these actors did such a good job showing fear. Oh, is he staying? <laughs> now! No disrespect, Lieutenant, sir. Show it up your ass. Man, they didn't even give him the good Winchester guns that he had. Where are you going to... Those are expensive. Those are expensive. You only get one shot, and then you have your little... Bayonet. It's very sharp. <laughs> hey, it's got a rate. He's a samurai. Bam! Maybe, Kill you. I don't know. They'll cut your gun in half. <laughs> I love this. <clears throat> 
Thank you. Oh, he's only English. <laughs> his only English is come? It's samurai come. <laughs> like, you gotta think, like, how afraid they are of these men. <clears throat> like, these are their former leaders. Yeah, and they are they are the warriors. They are their warriors. Yeah, I mean, they already the have the mythology around them. I mean, I think there'll be a couple of samurai that will die. But I think they're, they're going to kill all these guys. Look <laughs> <laughs> how intimidating that is. <laughs> Ute? What was it? Ute is fire. Makes me think of Turtles 3. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, oh, now they're all shooting. Great. Yep, they're not ready. Yeah. Run! You're not getting another one before they get to you. He knew they wouldn't hit it at range. Nope. Oh, you're gonna use a sword? Cavalry sword. Oh no, ran him right into more. Dang, there's so many too. Do Japanese archers? I didn't think there were gonna be so many samurai. I don't know why I pictured less. In a movie called The Last Samurai. I know. <laughs> Force to be reckoned with. Jeez. Scatter, man. No. No. I guess at least he finishes it. Oh, damn. So many. <laughs> Again, this is a man with a death wish. Yeah. Jeez. I love the choreography. The five samurai, I can't get him. <laughs> Dude, he's got a spear. <coughs> Look at that helmet. Oh. 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 Yep. Dude, I thought he was going to be like, stop. But no, he just <laughs> killed him. Killed the Red Warrior. Man. I got another Red Warrior. He's got the burn on his face. Could have been a birthmark, I guess, too. Huh, guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, she's a scorpion. Here's <laughs> Yeah, I was his, his name. This is the first thing I ever saw him then. That is him, right? Because yeah, he just him. looks so young. <laughs> they hired a real samurai. <laughs> that's how he got the job. <laughs> No, but he didn't fight. Oh, man. Jeez. I just, this is the first thing I ever, ever saw Hiroyuki Sonata in, and I've never not liked him since. Like, I never found a role. Like, Rush Hour 3? Oh. <laughs> he's always the best thing, like, what he's in, right? Yes. He's always so good. Because he's like a legit trained swordsman. Like, there was a point in this movie where they messed up a stunt and he stopped his real blade an inch from someone's neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I he's know. cutting him too. But no response. <clears throat> ah, slipped off the blood. <laughs> You don't want blood inside your scabbard. Jolly good. <laughs> Jolly good. <laughs> he's like, he doesn't know much English. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, but it's also like I feel like he's seen a lot of the British people or something, right? And they go, yeah, oh, Jolly good. Course, yeah. You know, so he's just yeah. like the words he knows is that. Yep. <clears throat> a lot of therapy for PTSD back then. Jesus, can you imagine trying to sleep? And this person you don't understand is making that noise in sure, your bedroom. Yeah. yeah, it's like a Japanese shire. <laughs> what it looks like to me. It's beautiful. <laughs> Japanese shire. I see like a guard. <laughs> Shadow. Yeah. <clears throat> You'd be hard pressed to find coffee 
That'd be my my big hang up. A tea. I mean, tea's like I, I would drink it. I would have nothing else, but I would miss the coffee. <clears throat> oh, oh man. Cool. Man. Look at these guys train. I know. They know what they're doing. <clears throat> the glint of the sun on the sword. Yeah. Oh, was that his dad? Was it her husband? Oh, he's m- putting mud everywhere? Fucking Americans! <laughs> you can't be alive just to speak English. And what do you want? To know my internet. <laughs> I've seen what you did. Somewhere I can understand the stream of your feet. I was fine. Cut off his head. Many of our customers. Another dad and lose, man. That's crazy. For example, not to introduce yourself is considered extremely rude. I can't imagine the strength this woman has. Sure. Yes, yeah. to serve the person that killed your husband. And in a warrior society, it's not just the warriors on the battlefield. Mm-hmm. Everyone has to deal with loss. And... <clears throat> <laughs> Looks like the mask they wear, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and the kids train to be samurai kind of thing. That's the, how they play. It's like... We saw this kid, he was wearing this wooden stick in the house. Yep. Oh! Yep. I already broke the kendo line. <laughs> his, his, voice, his voice is just so like I know scary sound. Oh, One of no. my favorite people. Is this? Is, are they gonna do it now? It's, it is raining. You try. <laughs> it is raining. <laughs> ah, everything hurts so much more when you're wet. You ever been hit by a boken? Those wooden swords are so strong. No shame in defeat. You know? <laughs> Uju hates it. <laughs> oh. Damn. I think that would hurt more than the hit. Saki. 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 <laughs> Ooh, damn. Damn. He is not a samurai. I guess he just fought the bad samurai on the battlefield. <laughs> right? Like. Like, he was spending them off fighting and winning. Well, I mean, he was a samurai lord. He's like the main trainer. Of the Dang it, wait for him to get up. He will make him feel shame and defeat. <laughs> oh man, still holding the sword. Something about the dragging that through the mud. Oh. Motive, trying to introduce himself. Yes, <laughs> indeed. 
Why are we having these conversations? What the hell am I doing here? No, Bob. <laughs> Stand down. Bob's Bob. gonna cut him down. <laughs> I, my favorite part of this movie is just like the values of East and West hitting each other, you know? Sure. The way of the samurai sword. Come out! I love the choice that we never see the Red Warrior's face, you know? Sure, like yeah. He's introduced as a samurai, and that's what he is. I. St- the guy with the mark on his face, I was like, something about him, and I was like, maybe he's the red samurai. I mean, they should never show the face, and I was like, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Be a hell of a twist. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, something about him. Why does he keep staring? Doesn't say nothing? Yeah. Something's weird. <laughs> I've been there. Too many minds. Too many minds? Mind is hope. Mind that people want. Mind is enemy. Too many minds. Too much on his mind. No Thinking mind. about too much. No mind. No mind. looking at him. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Eat a lot, don't be polite. that with the lights, Eric? I didn't. <laughs> Orange washes me out. Tom Cruise like actually like learned Japanese so he could do this movie because I he's I know spent, he does that kind of stuff all the time. Oh, he spent time. like six months learning to speak Japanese and fight with the sword. I know he's like I'm gonna he's be a, one of the most gonna be a pilot. I'm gonna go to yeah. space. I figure he's gonna learn Japanese. I mean, he's, you know, Tom Cruise like, is insane, but he's so good at the things <coughs> that he cares about. keep trying to think like if if I was in this position like I'd be like I don't know if I could do it but I'm also yeah. in my in my thought to be like well someone like it's not like it's a war yeah. <laughs> like he was there and they were both fighting each other it's karma like one of them was gonna die kind like of thing like they both entered into that battle <clears throat> yeah whatever happens happens so I'm like I feel like there's a different line there than just yeah. like someone murdered someone or something yeah he's teaching baseball, baseball. <laughs> <laughs> then you start chasing him <laughs>
when in three moods. Eight. The choreography is so good. What? Was that three moves? It looked like he did a lot more than that. <laughs> Ushio's moves. No. Not the defenses. Yeah, it's not total moves. It's <clears throat> Ushio's moves, I think. <laughs> oh, that's the smallest bow. Yeah, but it's it's a little bit so of much. <laughs> it's a little bit of respect that he's never given them. But you're still ugly. <laughs> still ugly. Oh no! What? What? Who are these guys? There's ninja. Those are ninjas. <laughs> Why are there ninjas? I don't know. We have ninjas. Those are Japanese ninjas, Aaron. Does the emperor have ninjas and this guy has samurai? <clears throat> I didn't know there were going to be ninjas here. No! Oh! So many darts. Damn, man. Okay, at least you guys have swords. Ooh, good shot. Like, only these ninjas can pass through the mountains. <laughs> oh, damn, man. Yep. These guys are ninjas. They're throwing stars and everything. They're fucking ninjas, Aaron. Uh, I don't want him to die. Yeah. What a move. <laughs> Dude, I was watching him fight. Bob. Ah, oh, it is Bob. Tom Cruise's sword. Oh, shit! Look at that close to the wall. Taka! Ooh, good job. <laughs> That's a body. That's a body. Ah, damn! Dead. Get one of these swords, good. Damn it, damn it! Dropped it! He's getting them his father's sword. Oh my gosh. Oh no, he's gonna he's fight! He's fighting! He's a samurai child. Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> Two swords. Just the choreography is so strong. Yeah. American editing is helping it. <laughs> <sighs> Ninjas. Like that being 2v3, like it was. Like I mm -hmm. felt like I was like, oh man, I, I can tell where he's going and what's going on. And, you have a really good idea of the space that everybody's yeah. in. And other movies that are action movies, I'm like, I don't know what the hell's going on. The Emperor has 
was granted a safe passage to Tokyo. We leave tomorrow. Safe passage to Tokyo? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Good. Good. Could, be, could be a trap. <clears throat> I don't know if they. It's dishonorable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right after this, you are my enemy. <laughs> Now he fought to survive together. You were my enemy. <clears throat> I love it. Now that he sees him as something more, he can't keep his shit. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Killed her husband, but saved her brother in law. Mm -hmm. Her brother. Her son, Jonathan, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly how much time has passed. Steal your soul. The hell? Uh, I believe it's just been a season. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> there are these people, they respect him, but they're afraid of these men. <laughs> it would be illegal to carry a sword by this point, I think. That not quite happened yet. I don't think it's quite there. <laughs> but you can't see they have their swords wrapped. Sure. Mm. Like Man, those right. streets clear. <laughs> like it was packed and now everyone's gone. It's like a Wild West duel, right? Everyone clears out. Yeah. <laughs> and it really is just seeing ghosts of the past. Mm -hmm. See, they're all cowering, but the white men over here are like, what's going on? Oh my god, you are alive. Yeah, this asshole. <clears throat> and the guy. Well, He's okay. Kasumuna to tell to tell him what to do. He just doesn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> Mr. Mora, my contract with you was to train you. Then we will make a new contract. One that we recognize the extraordinary contribution you have made to the Emperor. Do we understand each other? Could be a lot of money. Hmm. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna help defend him. So yeah, it just had the loss that you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Emperor. And he probably loves that kid. He knows how much pressure's on him. How afraid the Emperor is. What is it about your own people that you hate so much? Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> he just unloaded his gun in the... Yep, he's got nothing. <clears throat> 
except the winter in the village. No mind. No mind. Jolly good. Is that what he just mouthed to? Was no mind? <laughs> <laughs> and after after the fight, when he's not thinking, he's thinking about it. There's one guy I didn't kill. You know, I love it. <laughs> Roll charisma. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't stop, don't stop. <laughs> oh, good job. <laughs> I love that this guy's like, yeah, I'll help. You know, he was appalled when he saw what was happening on the street. <clears throat> I was wondering if there's other samurai with like the, the little hats on, like mm -hmm. hiding their face. Yes. <sighs> ah, good. I was hoping it was him. <laughs> what a man. Man, he switched. Ah! Yep. Get under. Ah. The archers are so badass. Ah! Uh, don't get shot. One of them's Bob. He's menaced. One of the archers? Yeah. That's Bob. No, Bob. No. No. Ah, oh, damn, his nephew. All good. Get out of there! That's the guy who said he was ugly, wasn't it? Yep. <clears throat> Damn it. He did that whole scene without speaking. Is he gonna shoot more arrows? <clears throat> Or does he have a sword? A good death. Yeah, I was waiting for him to do something else, yeah. Still shooting, you know. Think about how much respect these men would have for a for a death like that. <clears throat> Despite losing his top knot, you know. I didn't take long. Well, it's not winter anymore. <laughs> I don't want to give him a chance to recruit more people. Mm -hmm. I was hoping we had at least some time to do that. <laughs> <laughs> or for him to train them in Western tactics. How many men will we have? Maybe 500. Like General Casper. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> there was once a battle at a place called Demonopoly. 300 brave Greeks held the Persian army. 
Really? You want to stand this one? Uh, this is this not up. For two days, the Greeks made them pay so dearly the Persian army lost all taste for battle and were defeated soon after. What do you have in mind? Take away the advantage of their guns. They're overconfident and use that. By the way, Aaron hasn't seen 300. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, Thermopylae. I'm like, oh, I wonder what battle they're talking about. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, okay. Then. May 25th, 1877. This will be the last entry in this journey. It's 100 years oh, exactly before Star Wars was released. Really <laughs> exactly. Same thing. George Lucas loves the samurai movies. <laughs> <laughs> I like taking the picture of all the samurai. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's not crazy to think, like, recent enough that we could have pictures of them. We can, yeah, we do. Know. Yeah. I love this scene. You never see such a sensual scene of dressing someone. Sure. It's usually undressing. But here and it's not about that. They did both. In a way, yes. <laughs> but yeah, no. But you know what I'm saying? Like, like when she like grabbed the belt, the it's effectively off, but... taking the place of a love scene. Sure. The armor has so much to it. I was wondering, like, but we'll do so little. Yeah. What kind For of what relationship they would yeah. give these two? I wasn't sure. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I was just wondering what they would do with it all. Mm-hmm. She's also like the only girl in the movie. Yep. So I was yeah. like, well, if they're gonna do anything, they can do that one. Like... No, it's <clears> an interesting relationship. And it's such a. Like, that's not a very tender kiss. Man, it is and it isn't, you know? I, I don't know. I think it's interesting. We'll dive into it. Done. Let's <laughs> <laughs> train this up. <laughs> you really need this. Had it made for him? Mm. It's cool. It takes a while to make those. And you fold the steel a thousand times. I want to know what to say. Dr. Stone told us you only need to what do it say? twice. White Tiger. I belong to the warrior who uh. waits on Huh, he is a really good poet. <laughs> <laughs> Against us, you were the same as they are. I'll look for you one day. He'll be in the back. <laughs> <clears throat> Give him more his little military outfit. He'll be hiding behind all the howitzers and soldiers and whatever else he can hide behind. He'll probably run. <laughs> <laughs> run back to Tokyo. Ah, right oh, there it was. You see it? Yep. You got it. That's, that's the dick kick. One percent, Aaron. You're in the one percent. Godspeed. I really want to know his thoughts more. Because mm. like, I feel like he just went with him real easily. Mm. And like, he, where, like, kind of where he, he is. He said that, like, he stuck around because he really enjoyed Japan, and he's he's looking <clears throat> at the soul of Japan being fought for, you know? Sure. And Like, you talk about wanting to know, like, the, uh, the books and stuff and everything, yeah. and decipher that, but... So, he's... Mm. He got out of there. He's like a reporter that went to the other side to look into things and then come back. He's not a politician. He's not a military man. Oh, they won't surrender. <laughs> I love that. I just got it! a horned I, Ujio coming at me might be I, so scary. I don't know if to expect them to win or lose or what. Like, these guys definitely seem more trained. Yeah. Than the last ones. I love them better equipment. That's what makes a good movie, Aaron. You don't know. <laughs> Like, I don't know what their plan is. They said, like, uh, fighting on our terms kind of thing, right? So, yeah. how do you avoid the gunfire? Jeez. It's so loud, man. Yeah. Did they just miss? Are they just out of range? Algorin would know their range. Let them keep firing if you... Oh, going a little higher. Oh. Yeah. What a shot. That's all on camera. <laughs> I'd advise sending in skirmishes first. Nonsense! Who'd attack? Nonsense! Nonsense. 
You know, I'm not unconvinced they don't have all of these people in camera. Like, I don't really see much composition lines for the really big shots. Mm-hmm. That's how movies used to be made. Spartacus. Yeah, you had to get a bunch of people. <laughs> you, just, you need an army, you get an army. Like, he wasn't looking, right? And now he's cut off the four men from the rest of the army. He was, like, hiding behind a wall. Like, he just shot over the wall. Dude, these archers are amazing. <laughs> That's a hell of a shot. And it's not just movie stuff. Like, those archers do some crazy stuff. Especially on a horse. Is that a good oh, yeah. fire arrow, Rick? Oh, yeah. What is happening? <laughs> They're all dying. Nonsense! <laughs> Nonsense. Ah, volley. <clears throat> okay. Now move in because they're all looking at the sky. <laughs> 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 a good death. Oh, Bob. I love Bob. Bob looks so badass in his warrior attire. This is a little more chaotic. Yeah. Oh, go, Bob. No! No! Oh, he's still going. <laughs> oh, man. The first thing he said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus! Jeez. He cut his... He got it in half! <laughs> he said it. You have to subscribe. Aaron did it. Subscribe right now. Oh, They're just shooting straight into them all. Oh, okay. That's a good kick. I like that. Where's uh, Ujiro? Ujiro. Ujiro? Uh, well, oh, okay. look for the horns. <laughs> where, where, where is he? Oh, uh, man. Wow. Dude, the shots look good, too. Like the, the bullet shots. The way they hit. I think they just wave that upside down paper guitar. I love when Japanese men scream. What is that about me? Like, I love it. <laughs> like, if I, have, if I could oh. culturally appropriate one thing, it might be that. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that long shot. I like that they let it sit on him for yeah. a bit. That was good. Because they know that man can do it. Oh, my man. God. Man. That's a composite, but still, Jesus. <laughs> Man, each one's taking out so many. All oh, back to back. I love that move. He looks so good with two swords. Form. <clears throat> no! No, in the back! 
damn it! <laughs> he's like, no. It went through him, and he's like, no. Oh, Jeez, dude. man. <laughs> he spit a mouthful of blood. <sighs> and that's the thing, like, they went into this note, like, we're going to die. Well, sure. Die you by know? the sword. Yes. And they kill those two. They achieve something. <laughs> he's defeated. He must accept his shame. <clears throat> No shame. No mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he looks so He got shot in the oh, back. Oh my gosh. It came out the front. <clears throat> I saw blood splurt out, you know?
side of his bow. I hope he's taking pictures. <laughs> yeah. Or doodling or something. All green. <clears throat> oh, he's got the sword. Casamoto sword. <sighs> he doesn't need the diplomatic guide anymore. Yeah, I know. He learned Japanese so quick. <laughs> Living in that village in the winter. Which they set up. He did it with the, uh, with the children. Bigfoot, right? <laughs> That's a friend. That's Gossamer's friend. We cannot forget who we are. Or where we come from. He finally heard him. Ambassador <laughs> Swabek. <laughs> I have concluded that the treaty is not in the best interest of my people. Sir, if I may so sorry. But you may not. But you may not. <laughs> Stab that man with that sword. <laughs> I love that line. That's so good. And so the days of samurai ended. Nation, like men, some might say, found some small measure of peace. You need to go back. We all seek. And few, few of us ever fight. Ever fight. <laughs> Check the after credits and see if Bob made it. <laughs> no, it's nothing. So, more emotional than I thought it would be. I wasn't sure. I also. <laughs> uh, Who would have thought the ending going, of Last Samurai would be emotional? Well, uh, going into it too, like I wasn't sure exactly what it would be. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, there's often like the. What well, have you seen like the last of the Mohegans or the last of? Yeah. Like, there's a lot of the last of. Yeah. Sure. Um, I guess the thing I was worried about would be like, ah, the white guy shows up and becomes a samurai yep. and saves everybody, savior. you know, kind of sure. like that. And I was like, Tom Cruise <laughs> is the last samurai. Yeah, hey, but the this title... movie made more money in Japan than it made in the U.S. Really? Isn't that crazy? That's awesome. It's the, an American movie. The title, like, because samurai, 
There's also the plural of samurai, right? Yeah. yeah. You have one samurai or mm-hmm. 20 samurai. Yeah. So, like, the last samurai doesn't have to be talking about, like, you get down to everyone being dead except yeah. for him. You can be like, well, he's the last samurai. Yeah. But you could also just be like, this movie is about, this movie is about the yeah. last samurai. The last all, all of them. You know, these are the samurai and their yeah. old ways and yeah. it's like dying out type of thing. And what does it mean to be a samurai? And I, I liked a lot of, honestly, what they did story-wise. And I think traditionally with what I know of Japan and samurai and stuff mm-hmm. seems good. I'd like to talk to someone who like knows that more yeah, so. I mean, definitely and see a fictional culturally, story yeah. in an event, like fictionalizing an event that actually happened. Sure. You know? Like just the like culturally like it's kinda like when we watched Ms. Marvel of like, well, I, you know, I don't really know this. Uh-huh. But like for, for someone who does live in this, are they pretty accurate with this? Is it yeah. not? But it's nice to see like it's also a, a, it touches on the American Indian War, you know, fighting all these natives and everything, and the terrible things we did. Yeah, so like you have Tom Cruise struggling with the things he did there, but yeah. it also with here and the samurai in Japan and stuff, it kind of touches on like there's cultural differences, and when yeah. we can kind of come to terms with like, well, but there was a line he talked about when he was writing, and I thought yeah. it was interesting that he called them he called the village unusual people. Yeah. He didn't call them savages. He didn't call no. them natives. He didn't call. He just called them unusual people because he didn't understand. And it's nice to kind of have that commentary of, like, yeah. it's just we don't understand each other, and then as we do, we can kind of be friends, you know? And he's also, like, in his writing versus when he's just interacting with people in the Western world, like, he he talks about savages very differently when it's just him. Yeah. But whenever he's in that society, he has different language, at least in the beginning he did. Like, Tom's character, like, he would have fought, you know, against a more <coughs> primitive army. Mm-hmm. Um, in the Indians, but like he also <laughs> fought in the Civil War, so like in this as well, like this is a Japanese Civil War kind mm-hmm. of in a way, yeah. like fighting brother against brother. It, it feels almost demeaning to call it a war movie, but it is definitely. It, it has Kasumoto and Nathan Algren. Like they both start by I need to learn my enemy. Like everything that they have is because they have been defined by war and that's how the samurai rule and that's how Nathan makes a living you know Uh, but they both have such trauma from that war but the western and eastern philosophies clash like Nathan when he first sees that that uh, uh, Kasumoto kills the general uh, Hasegawa Mm -hmm. like he sees like how could you do that that was an unarmed man he just slaughtered him sure yeah and at the end he helps Kasumoto do what Cosmodo no. did for Hasegawa. Sure, yeah. You know, no, it, it's he understands it. Now. It's understanding <clears throat> the culture of what, yeah. like, what do they believe? And I like to talk about life that yeah. they had too. Yeah, I thought that was oh, really interesting. Bushido, life in when, every breath. Yeah, when they're about like finding life in everything. There's life in death. There's life in breath. There's life yeah. in this tree. You know. Like, do you remember Cosmodo's <laughs> the first part of his poem? Um, no, I didn't. The first write part down. of his poem is, uh, it's like you can spend every day your whole life looking for the perfect cherry blossom and it won't be a wasted life and then he found the last line of his poem which is they're all perfect mm-hmm. I just I love that I think they do a very good job in a very small, small amount of scenes to describe what Bushido is the way of the warrior and what that eastern philosophy of how to conduct yourself and how to conduct war is sure you know well and I like but yeah. Algren can, like, at the very least, Algren, when he sees it, he sees something completely foreign, but he sees discipline. He sees, like, the strive for perfection. There's sure. something about, like, the warrior in him well, that, like, that's interesting. The thing that works well with it, too, is that when he's talking to, um, you know, the, the soldiers and the the emperor and his council kind of people and stuff like that, they're talking about, like, samurai. He's like, samurai, what are samurai? And yeah. they're like, uh... Your, your best word would be warrior. Yeah. But then he gets there and he's like, samurai means to serve. To serve. And it's just like what what you're viewing them to be and then mm-hmm. what you find out later on yeah. is just, it, I, I, really, I really like, there's a lot of, uh, I guess, I don't know, parallels or analogies or, I don't know, there's lots of, I, I like the Emotional style conflict. of a lot of, yeah, yeah. The, the story they're telling and how Cultural they're telling. Cultural conflict. I, I, I like when he's talking about uh, you suffer from nightmares and uh, uh, yeah. he's like, well, every soldier suffers from nightmares. And he's like, only the, the ones ashamed of what they did. I know. And I was like, man, I like that. Because like, if, like, if you're truly in belief of what you did <clears throat> as being the right thing, yeah. then you're not going to have nightmares from that. But if you're doing terrible things and stuff and you're having all this PTSD, it's because you're doing what you believe to be terrible things. Exactly. It's a, it's a great movie to think about when I try to think about like, 
conflicts in my own life of clashing beliefs, you know? Like, you don't necessarily get to choose what your belief is. You're just exposed to information and you're convinced or you're not. But dealing with someone with a different belief than you can be so hard and it almost always you think of them as the enemy. And this is a relationship here that you can think of them as your friend, you know? Yeah. And be convinced otherwise. Now, so, like, you know, mankind has always struggled with how do we get these young men to go out and die yeah. for something, mm-hmm. right? Like, that's... And it's fascinating to see how different cultures do it. Yeah. Like, here you have Bushido in Hellenistic Greece. Like, you have the Homeric ep- epic. Yep. And the idea of, like, honor and what it is to be a warrior and, like... Uh, you get it in, like, uh, Norse mythology, too, right? Sure, yeah. Just, it's like... The Vikings and the samurai both have a, like you die in battle, you know, by the Valhalla, sword, by yeah. the blade. You go to Valhalla, like there's some similarities in like their yeah. beliefs and stuff. Yeah, and you get that with the Greeks and stuff as well. And like that's one way of doing it. Um, one way of having those young men die. One way of having those young men die, and then like another way, like with the Indians, like you make them into such this fearsome enemy. The Braves that like yeah. they are going to rape your women and yep. steal your children and like eat eat you yeah that scene when he talks about scalping like yeah. imagine someone that hates you with the utmost intensity so like that isn't about honor no. or anything it's about we have to for survival purposes we must yeah. destroy a monster we must destroy a monster right? yeah um, yeah it's just yeah just looking through history of like how do we have the people fight for the people who aren't fighting yeah. right because whenever like those one guys when they were going to do the one battle uh, seeing the seen the the one fight on the natives where it was like these guys weren't involved in the raids mm-hmm. and he's like ah we gotta kill them anyway kind of thing yeah. seeing that and then seeing like alright we're gonna move in and fight the samurais like these, look at these guys they can't shoot me and I'm one guy mm-hmm. to, to that guy being like alright everyone in the back yeah. <laughs> you know it's like you're not even gonna stay here and fight well it's the business of war Amora <laughs> is looking at war as a business yeah. yeah and he's amazing at business so I will be amazing at war but that's not exactly and I, but that's the thing, like, like talking about like how do we get these boys to fight? It's you get yeah. the boys to fight that aren't the businessmen, so that yeah. they can stay in the back and be like, all right, you guys go and get me the stuff I want. Yeah. yeah, and it's just like, damn. Whereas like I love like the samurai, like I am here for the emperor. I would do what he wants, but we protected the people, and it's always been about the people, not about like what's the most prosperous for the rest of the world and us. Which, and to be fair, is also cherry picking as mm-hmm. far as the samurai goes. Absolutely. Sure. Right? Like you know that's. Don't let reality get in the way of a good story. Sure, yeah. I mean you can, you can look at it. You can look at it both ways with that because having him be like, "Oh no, this is," he's still picking like, "This is the wrong way. This yeah. is the right way." But he's also looking at like, "Well, that guy's earning a lot of money. Why isn't his money helping being spread around?" I liked his thing sure. about like, "How much gold did you give to the people?" Yeah. Whereas like, we gave gold to the people, but there's still he's still picking something that's for the people or not for the people mm-hmm. on his his beliefs and opinions. It's just. I feel like he's also down there with them, whereas like the other guys, he's up here and he's yeah. not, he's not gonna fight. He's not he's not shooting anybody, you know. At least at the end, uh, Bagley, like, went in and fought. He did. You know, he didn't stay back there behind the guns. And like wait. I said, I, in the reaction, of whether it made it or not, but like, there's a certain amount of, I think Bagley observing what Ogren's doing and respecting some of it. Sure. Not you know the idea of being a race traitor or being a traitor to the our Western philosophies, but. If we have to give him credit, the guy's a warrior too, despite sure. being a piece of shit. Yeah, and I think that he respect that. I felt like there was a little comparison between what we saw in the flashback against the Native Americans, yeah. and then like him being there and be like, "All right, send in the skirmishers." Like, yeah. "I'll send everybody." And he's like, "What? what? <laughs> you know, what are you doing? Like, that's not what we should do." Yeah, like that's how Tom Cruise felt. You know, the one part is like, "We shouldn't attack them. Yeah. They didn't raid us." So, but yeah, like you know, heart and. Genius won't win a battle, mm-hmm. but stupidity will lose a battle every time. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, this is one of my favorite movies. Not just because of like the things that are happening and the shots and the cinematography. All that stuff I think is really good, uh, but it's really just how brief some characters appear sure. and how much feeling they give me. Like Bob. Sure. Bob is a sentinel. He oh follows along, and he's <laughs> literally a nothing character. Sure. Until. But I like that he jumps out. I don't know, you know. I like that he was there, um, 
basically like a guard to make sure he didn't do something he shouldn't. Exactly. But then he's like, thanks for protecting me. Yeah. You're supposed to protect me, right? Yeah. You did a good job yesterday. Exactly. And then like we get to the point where it's like he is there and he's yes. like, I am protecting him and I jump in front of the bullet for him. Yeah, I mean, you know? Bob is, you know, he's the silent samurai, but. <clears throat> and there's no he, words. But he has, he doesn't, but he has <laughs> Bushido, right? Life in every breath. Algren is either in this breath, he's my prisoner. In this breath, I'm guarding him. In this breath, I'm saving him. In this breath, I die. Sure. And I find that destiny. Yeah. And it's, it, re- it's, it re- and just so many characters it, like that. It reflects well because there's, there's so many things that they say, uh, just different words or ideologies or whatever. From like giving back his stuff. I mean, like you were my enemy when I took this. Like here's your stuff back. When I took this. You were and then like, what did the sword say? It was like something about like joining the warrior, <laughs> mixing like the old ways. With it said, the new, "I belong to the right? warrior in which the old ways have joined the new." <clears throat> yeah, like that's just another like melding of yeah. like two understandings coming yeah. together kind of thing, right? Like, I just, I like a lot of those little, yeah. like, philosophies or, you know, they're just kind of sprinkled in. Yeah. I mean, with it, the cherry blossoms. The, everything's it, perfect. Kind it, of thing. All of that stuff. Yeah. It still kind of lines up with a lot of, like, you're understanding more of their beliefs and, you know, why they're doing what they're doing. Yeah. I, I, I love his poem because the last line, they were all perfect. <laughs> I don't think he literally means every cherry blossom that he saw in that last <laughs> minute was perfect. But in a life in which you're looking for it, that's perfect I always like that I thought that's really a, a deep thing to go into and to mix that with what's dis- inscribed on his sword that's what the emperor gets to hear at the end yeah. and that's what he needed All, if you've watched these scenes like the emperor is constantly like please tell me what to do I don't know what to do but Kasumoto he's such a believer he's like I can't you are a living god yeah they have I such can't. a high belief what the emperor yeah. is like he's his mentor yeah. but Imagine mentoring a small child, which I'm sure he did, but believing he's a god. You sure. Know? Yeah, and that, I mean, goes all the way up to World War II still, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, he's, like this movie portrays, you know, he, as long as he serves the will of the council, mm-hmm. he is god. But, yeah. like, to the average Japanese person, he mm-hmm. is a divine figure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, I always have <laughs> loved the, the Game of Thrones scenes when it's talking about what is power. And at the end of the day, it's just what people believe. Mm-hmm. And those beliefs can change. Yeah. Well, and like this era, I'm not an expert in it by any means. Me but like it is such an upheaval in tradition. And it is interesting to see like how much of the t- tradition they've kept mm-hmm. since then. Um, and what's changed. And yeah. definitely what's changed. Uh, I had a point. I started one. <laughs> and I lost it on the way. I was hoping I could get it back. You're not a student of this history, is what you had said. Oh, so I'm trying to imagine, because America's so young. Like, yes. we, we have nothing like the samurai. We don't have a thousand-year-old temple that my sure. grandpa built. Like, <laughs> my the grandpa idea of what built. the emperor says is, like, we need to, you know, progress and do what's good for our people, but we also, at the same time, shouldn't forget who we were. Yeah, so, who like... We are and where we come from. Yeah, and, you know, the samurai, it's basically a religion. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a spiritual thing, yeah. so I'm... I'm trying to imagine, like, what would that be like in America? Sure. Like, I, like if I go back, and I'm like, okay, well, in England, when Catholicism was outlawed, like, that, to me, is as close as I can come to picturing it in my mind. Like, what mm-hmm. if Catholicism was outlawed? Yeah. Or, like, like Christianity? Sure. Like, how would that look? Because that's such an ingrained part of... It really is. A lot of people yep. in... Yeah. yeah. And, like, sure. you know, if, if just one day you just couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, what would that look well, like? How would that feel? The U.S. itself doesn't, I don't feel like, really has... Because, like, you're right. When, when this kind of going on, it's like, well, what do we have that's like having the samurai way? You know? Like, is is there anything... Because we came from other countries that already started having kind of their own things. And yeah. then we just kind of made our own as opposed to having... Yeah, like, you know, know we're all traces... We're a colony. We're not... Like, like, in terms of, like, a national identity, like you said, it's so young. Yeah. It's well, hard to find an identity like that. Yeah. Like, it traces from Rome. Mm-hmm. But, like, we are not Romans. Yeah. Sure. No. But, yeah. you know, here, like, it traced from the samurai and the Edo era, like, and they are those same people. <laughs> yeah. There's a, I don't know about if you guys ever feel this way, but being the person I am and where I ca- came from, there's a part of me that's extremely jealous when other people have a very clear line of their heritage, a very clear line of their culture, you know? When I say, like, all right, I'm a white guy from Ohio, what's my culture? The only thing I can really think of that's individual to me is, like, farming, maybe, you know? 
But like in terms of farming and Christianity. Yeah, Christianity, sure, absolutely. But like, there's a part of me that's envious of other cultures that are so individualistic. It has its and and simple, not simple, but like basic to you. Like that's who I am. I just really, I'm interested in those stories. Yeah, no, and it makes me think of somewhere like Germany, mm-hmm. who, like, the leadership changed so many times over such a short period of time. Yeah. And, like, how connections to that history was lost and regained and lost yeah. again. And this movie has one of my favorite performances of uh, Hiroyuki <laughs> Sonata as Ujio. Whenever I have to look up, I have to, I have to remember his name. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I forget his name. I just look up Ujio, and it's first name. There's so many things. <laughs> like he's in so many scenes, yes. and like his death, like he didn't have like a, he didn't have as big of a moment, I guess. Like yeah. he died during the big, you know, part of the Gatling guns being shot and everything. But a lot of people also died, yeah. as opposed to I thought maybe his he'd like save something or he'd be one of the big. But it was just his death happened, and then it, when it just happens, even though he has like. I don't know. Two lines. <laughs> like he doesn't talk very much, you know. And that, none of them in English, obviously. No. Yeah. 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 And it's just, I still care, and yeah. it's, it's done really well. And that man, like getting shot, seeing the blood splurt, get, yeah. get off me. I'm good. Be, we ride this as horse. The movie you tells know? you, like, like <laughs> he, until he dies or takes his own life, he still has the ability to find his destiny, and his destiny is to be one of the samurai lords at the end that all of those young men in that army. Recognize as this is something. Yeah, like, I like this the, is something, and there's something in those young men that they have to stop. I liked cutting to uh, I don't even know who he was. The the one, yeah, he's not a general. He's not like the other guy was a general. This guy was like just in the first the battle in the woods. That guy is seen trying to stop his men from retreating, trying to stop them from shooting too early, but eventually he just has to turn and run. He's a scared young man, but then. Winter happens. He gets trained. Sure, but I just like cutting back to him yeah, during during the, yeah. the death of all the samurai. And it would be so easy to just keep that on each, a Mora or another big character. Each time is just a little different, and yeah. it's hitting him more and more yeah. until he stops the fire the and then and he the bows. And stuff. Yeah, it was just I really like they cut him like four different times, and yeah. it, it kept transitioning yeah. each time. I, I, there's one shot in here I absolutely love, and it's you see the big long line of the men that are beginning to bow, right, and then the standard bears. Put the Japanese flag into shot. Mm-hmm. So good. Yeah, I will never not cry at the end of that movie. <laughs> yep. I mean, I, I seriously, I've probably watched this thing twenty <laughs> times. I've never not cried. Yeah. W- once the charge happens. <sighs> it's just... I also, I think I would have been fine not having the the final scene of him coming back over to the village or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, if it would have ended where he was like, "Tell me how he died," got to tell you how he lived. Yeah. If it just, I thought it was just gonna end there. I, I thought that you. was a really yeah, good I moment of just being like, at that moment, I wasn't thinking like, "Where did he go next?" What happened? I was just next? like, now he tells him about how he lived, and it's great. I definitely <laughs> understand. Uh, Simon mm-hmm. Graham is, you know, the guy that's narrating at the end, right? Sure. And yeah. he just he's talking about how he's going to take all these books and all, and he has all Graham's stuff. Yeah, like, he gave him. He's all going that to stuff. write a book. I think it's heavily implied that. What we saw at the end might not be what happened, sure. but that's how he wrote it, because that's how he remembered the man. You know, like someone that was hurt and traumatized and traumatized others, and maybe I love the line, which is, uh, I like to think that he found some small measure of peace that we all look for and few of us ever find. I think it's just a good ending to to his book, sure. despite if it's real or not. Yeah, which is how I think about the movie. Like, it's not historically accurate. But how does it make you feel? Sure. Yeah. And it represents a conflict that did happen. It does. Yeah, it did. It does a good job, too, of, like, I am I was, like I said in the reaction to it, I don't know if it was in there, but mm-hmm. the relationship between uh, Algren and uh, Taka. Taka. Where, like, yeah. how is this going to go? Because, like, yeah. in the beginning, like, I feel like that's really hard of, like, I know this man killed my husband, and now I have to take care of him and help him <laughs> recover, and he's living in my house, and... Yeah. You know, she's talking about the shame she has that she wants to kill herself and yeah. all that kind of stuff. And then you get further and further into things, and I'm like, is are they going to get closer? And even at the very end, like, there's not like a running into arms. No. You know, yeah. some, some of the traditional kind of yeah. like you see it all the time in movies, none of that happens. She just sees him, <laughs> yeah. he sees her, and it, and it fades. It, for me, it's a, it's a great break from a normal trope, which is usually in stuff like this, you know, Braveheart or something like that. 
a love interest is a primary motivator. And here, the love interest, effectively, and you know, if you're just trying to like categorize all these characters, mm -hmm. the love interest is a result of many people's honor uh, and beliefs, right? Like, they kind of, you, you know that they like each other, but there's so much baggage. Yeah. And that's why I really respect the decision not to have, you know, because I feel like, you know, Michael Bay would have had the bang before I put on that armor, you know? Sure, yeah. <laughs> well, I thought maybe but we the, were the going to go into that. Here. When you see her in yeah. the bedroom, like, the night before, yeah. I was like, oh, we're going okay. to do yeah. this thing now. Okay. Yeah. But then they didn't. And then the, the next scene, when they gave the armor, I was like, okay, we're making this sensual. We're going to go in. Yeah. They didn't do that either. <laughs> and, and that scene ends with them kissing, but sure. the kiss doesn't feel fiery or passionate. It no. feels it's like... It's like a good luck it's, kiss. It's like... Those. Yeah, man. I kind of see a it blessing. as... I see it as two people trying to find comfort as opposed to passionate about each other, if that makes sense. Sure. Well, like, it's not a... It's not a it wasn't a fire, passion fueled kiss, but it did feel comforting. I mean, in a weird way, they can bond through the husband. Like sure. They had a different relationship with him, but he was a significant figure in both of their lives. Yeah. And it's just like, it's so hard from, from my sensibilities to try to imagine, like, that young son bonding with his father's killer. Sure. But instead, it was that young son bonding with someone that they, just by the sheer nature of their cultural hospitality, brought into their home. Yeah. yeah. I also wonder, too, if there is some cultural things that, like... I also don't understand yeah. of like there's a kiss there but like is it like she doesn't want to go too far with something or another yeah. because it was also like the Japanese men don't do this yes. you know and he's like well I'm not a Japanese, I'm not Japanese man yeah. so I'm like there may be some cultural things too where it's like they're they're still kind of feeling things out and don't know how to how to deal with yeah. this either you know I, I feel mm -hmm. like it, the show doesn't or the, the movie doesn't want to go too far into this but there is a scene where Kasumoto was like you will do what you're told like yeah. women in Japan had a very clear role and I think that the movie could have shined a light a little bit more on Taka having feelings that she knows she shouldn't have or that she knows that she's expected not to have sure but they kind of don't put any other characters attention on it too much yeah you know but there's a lot to do in this movie like I understand uh, Algren and the, and the little boy better yeah as far as like how they are you know sure. yeah. especially with the mother being like well, he's afraid you're going to die. Yeah. Not that you've killed his he's father and stuff. He's dad, yeah. grown to care about mm -hmm. you. Which is another thing I like, too, is, like, they toss him in the village. And uh, everyone, like, I, I liked how he wrote it in his diary thing. It was, like, <laughs> they showed him respect, you yeah. know? They, they like, mildly, they said it was, like, a mild... Uh, like, tolerating. Tolerance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, like, I like that, but it's also, like, he... Gets his ass kicked in the rain. You know? Oh, I love he, that scene. He starts to like help out. He's trying to do yeah. more stuff. It, it's like he start, slowly gains more of the respect and like starts to understand more of like what they're oh, yeah. doing. And like he grows to kind of become part of the village as opposed to just like. Well, yeah, like at first it's just like this drunk killed my husband. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he entered into mm -hmm. the challenge of war. And because you try, like he says, like he tried to kill him, he killed him back. It's karma. Yeah. You know? Like when you step up to a challenge and you issue that challenge, I'm going to kill you. There's no, like, well, I mean, you beat me, so go ahead and kill me. It's like, no, you fight until you die. And if you lose, you're going to kill yourself if you're still alive, yeah. you know? Like, well, that's what, it's so complicated. Watanabe was saying that to yeah. uh, Taka, right? Was mm -hmm. that he was going to fight him. Like, I watched the battle. Yeah. Like, there's, there's not like he just stabbed him in the back or yeah. you know assassinated a, him or anything. It but, was a good death. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Kasumoto like, I will die by the sword. And whenever he's shot and broken and he's going for his sword, like, he's like, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I can't not die by the sword. I just, I, I love that performance. Ken Watanabe. It went, again, his first like American movie, his first role in English. He did really well. I mean, like, I don't know what all he did beforehand. Like, yeah. I'm assuming he did acting in yeah, Japan, Japanese you know? stuff, but. <clears throat> That scene, when his son is dying, and I think that they purposely kind of cast the son and the emperor to look a little alike and have the same tone of voice, very high, you know, because mm -hmm. he sees both of them in this son figure. 
but he has that entire death scene of his son without, without anything, speaking yeah. a word. And that guy put in acting work. Yeah. Like, when they shut the camera off, they were like, pay him! You know? Like, this is an international actor that doesn't know the language. I mean, he knew his lines, but he did, he's not, he wasn't fluent, mm-hmm. you know? That's just as, like, a an acting performance. That's amazing. No, I thought he did a really good job. Especially if, like, his English was very limited in what yeah. he knew. I thought he performed everything really well. And I love, like, their... They're back and forth, like their conversations. Mm-hmm. I also love them being like, "I'm gonna miss our conversations." Yeah. Like I liked, uh, I like a lot of those yeah. things. There's a lot of things that kind of come back, and like you kind of start to expect, or you forget about, and you're like, "Oh, that makes sense." Yep. Though one thing I never expected were ninjas. Ninjas. <laughs> I was like, "What?" Amora <laughs> is wants to kill him. <laughs> I was like, "Geez, okay." I get you. It just surprised I, me, but I, me, I love the fight and everything. That was great. Yeah. It was instead of having a bunch of guys show up with guns and attack, it was just like, yeah. "Here's some other guys with like." Throwing stars and darts and whatnot. Yeah, you, like you fight. have a lot of reasonable battles in this, and then you have ninjas. You do, <laughs> but you, you do you have to show that this place is very remote, right? Like at the end, like you could say Augur went there and they never bothered him because it's just a village in the mountains. It, there's no political value. There's nothing there, right? But when Kasumoto was there, there is, and you have to show that Omura, the, the council, anybody that's against the interests of of the samurai will do anything they can to kill him, including hiring assassins, which is effectively what they are. And, I mean, they're probably the only people who could actually make it over the mountains. Yeah, sure. Yeah, like you need a... It's hard to provision an army yeah. in winter through mountains. It shows that Amora like, Beijing will do whatever... Like 20 guys as yeah. ninjas. <laughs> it shows that Amora will do anything he can to win in that regard, even relying on old ways. Yeah, like, he's sure. very proud of being the modern, modern man, but... You know, that's why they have that thing. Like, who do you think sent this? The Emperor? It's like, no, the Emperor just could say die and I would. Yeah. Omora did this. I like that he uses that <laughs> later on, too. He's a hypocrite. It's like, if you see me as an enemy, just yeah. command me to, to die and I will. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, and not only are we seeing a new style warfare of, like, the Japanese versus not, but just, like, you know, this time period, there's Gatlin guns coming in. Like, you oh. don't get that Civil War style mm. war anymore of just... Um, line up and shoot? Yeah, lines of men marching. You know, you just, you can't do that. <laughs> you, you know, the movie spends literally two hours setting up how fearsome the samurai are. And I think it's a really bold choice to make the howitzers, once they go up against them, they are the most overbearing machine of war. You, like, the the mix puts them at the very top. It, every all, every other sound effect is gone. The music is gone. It's just blah, 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 blah. You know, it's, it's uh, war pigs, right? Like in the field, the body's burning as the war machine keeps turning. I guess exact. When I think of that, I think of that that, that song. It reminds me too when you said about like Japanese men screaming. Have you ever heard um, the recordings of like Civil War soldiers doing the rebel yell? The rebel yell. No, yeah. I know what the rebel sometime. yell is, but I never heard that. Yeah, hmm. it's different, like much higher pitched than this. Oh yeah, thing, but it's also disturbing to hear. Well, I mean, to that point, I have. Thoroughly heard recordings of Native American graves. Sure. And that's like, it's the opposite of the, what I enjoy of the Japanese yell, which yeah. is like a, Uda! you know, I love that. But I can't even do the Native American one, but it's so terrifying. The, you know, that, uh, it's like, if imagine that running out of the woods at you. What do you do? Fuck! <laughs> you know, I'm dead. <laughs> the uh, rebel yells closer in spirit to that. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Hmm. But yeah, just like, this is all close enough that we can have recordings of people who were alive during yep. these times. And we have photographs of, I don't mm-hmm. know about these battles, but Civil War battles, yep. which happened a little before this. Sure. Mm-hmm. I like that he went in there to take pictures of like the samurai and stuff. It's such a different world, but yeah. it's not all that far removed from our own. Yeah. Man, uh, you know, I like I said, I, I put this in like my top ten. I just really enjoy this movie. But... When I try to think of, like, a perfect movie, I think not about how good it was, but what did, was there anything in there you didn't like? Sure, yeah. Like, th- my perfect movies, there's very few things I can say, like, well, you know, you could be like, the ninjas were out of the, you know, kind of out of the blue. I mean, <laughs> I know? wasn't expecting them, but, but I wasn't like, like, wow. Yeah, no, I get you. I, I, I definitely feel that way, but... Honestly, for me, it's a perfect movie because I can't really find much fault. Sure. Even like uh, scenes like Ugio versus uh, Tom Cruise and your 
you need to show that Tom Cruise is getting better and they, you know, they have a draw, right? Like that scene, I think in a lesser movie, would have happened a little earlier and it would have not been as hidden. Because instead of just watching these two, watching this man get better, we're watching people watch him get better and taking bets. And sure, yeah, I like Josh that. Josh Dougley, you know, like there's, I like, there's no fault to that what could be just kind of a trope. Sure. Because it's hidden in character. I think it's good to like put us more on par with the guys who are also watching being like, oh, that guy's real good. It's like, yeah. well, that guy's not going to win. You and, know, and I, I like us being on yeah. that side of it versus like more so from like Tom Cruise's perspective being yeah. like, we can win, we can beat this or whatever, you know? So, I like it. It's kind of like when you watch uh, Dragon Ball Z and you're, you're, you're on the side of like, Look, there they go. It's like, ding, 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 ding. And they're just doing all this shit. And you can't see anything because you're, you're watching it from the human's perspectives. Yeah. You're like, whoa. But then when you go yeah. back to their perspective, it's not as, you're not like, whoa. This oh, is exactly. so cool. And, you know, it's a little less because it's like, now I can see what's going on yeah. as opposed to just being like, holy shit. <laughs> Look at them go. Yeah. Not, what a perfect analogy. <laughs> because I think about like Bulma or, or someone being like, what's happening? Can you see? But Piccolo is looking. It's like, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Like I don't think I don't think the editing is bad in the face. Yes, it's American. Editing. But it, it is American editing. Mm-hmm. Like I would love to have seen Kurosawa film this story. Agreed. Sure. Like I, I would love to see his movement in motion and I, the way I, he I, does action. I hundred percent uh, agree. I would like to see that alternate world. There's several version. of the fights that I like where I'm like, I can tell what's going on. Mm-hmm. And then there was like Ujiro Ujiro? Ujio. 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 Ujio who has the uh like long like <clears throat> Five attack like moment there in the big battle, but most of the battle too was just, and it may be wanting it to feel very chaotic, mm-hmm. but it was sometimes really hard to tell like well, what is going on. It's just like there's sword swinging and you yeah. see a guy get slashed, and then more stuff swinging yeah. and a guy gets yeah, slashed. Yeah, like well, look, like during the you know I bet he does it in five blows. Like I wish that had been one shot and I could have counted the blows. How many blows were instead happening? of counting the edits? Yeah, sure. Like I just think that would have been a more effective scene. I 100 percent agree. <clears throat> Like, I can't find any fault in that. It's not offensive. No, I get you. No. It's but not like Jason Bourne. If no, I'm trying know? to give a justification for it, you could say, it's like, well, we are technically seeing this through the eyes of Algren. Algren is an American warrior. I see it. We have to see it in a different way in order to do that. But but then the last battle should be in the Japanese style. You know what? Yeah. It, would, it. Be, it <laughs> would be cool to transition it from a it Western cool. style of yeah. filming it, and then yeah. as he becomes more samurai... And becomes like more engulfed in the. Like, I think it's ways. a cool idea. I think it's, 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 it might be difficult for like a general audience to pick up that that's what you're doing. It could, be. but sometimes editing and and cinematography isn't about what the general audience is going to pick up, but how you make them feel. So that could have been actually a pretty cool and, idea. And you know, it's not like that battle doesn't make me feel all the feels. Oh no, that battle was crazy. Because here's the thing: like I personally, as I watched it, I think I accept it more. But like the first couple of times I watched it, I think like. I feel like the battle, like, we have to have a big generic two army running each other battle. That's what people like in war movies. Yeah. And you want to be like, how real is that? Or, like, how cliche could that be? And I feel like it definitely, you know, like, you talk about, uh, what's the, the Japanese, the what's the Japanese game that you play? Uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima, right? You talk about how it's an open world game, or is it that one? The open world Ghost yeah. of Tsushima? Yeah. It's an open world game with the Japanese skin. Yeah. Right. Whereas this is like it's a big battle scene, but with the Japanese flavor. Sure. Um, however, I know because I remember watching the special features. Of this, like the director of this, who was never a big fan of that style of fight, is like, okay, look, we're going to do it, but here are the things I, that have to happen. He's like, every time I watch it, every time I watch Braveheart, every time I watch The Patriot, you know, when that happens, you can see the corner, and in the corner are two guys going like. Yeah. <laughs> with their fight. He's like, in every shot, he hired people to look at every person and made sure that wasn't in the movie. Like, there's that one scene where it's just, obviously it's a digital uh, composite, but it is chaos, and every fight is choreographed. I really respect that. See, I like that. Yeah. It just... I wish that we could have seen more of those then, because then you could be like, "Oh, look at that choreograph over there." Rewind it. Now watch that choreography over there. But because of, because the cutting <laughs> because the cuttingness yeah, yeah. of it, it's harder to no, see. No, I get that. you. But I think that would be the only thing I overall that I Agreed. would say is maybe the, the the biggest like 
detriment to the to the movie kind of thing. Yeah, it's just some some of those scenes. But otherwise, like, I yeah. really like the characters. Yeah, and it's not dialogue. like it's a zero. Like it's a seven. <clears throat> no, I'm an eight. I yeah. also no, like yeah, just thing. Like <laughs> on everything else, where it's like ten, 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 ten. Yeah, here's the eight. Also, you know. <laughs> also, when it comes to the reality of it, they're filming in New Zealand. They have to bring in. They're bringing in international actors. Many of our main characters aren't trained samurai sure. like one of them is <laughs> you know so you have to learn the choreography quickly you have to get the shots you're gonna be all right we'll cut it up a little bit because these guys aren't well trained but when Ujio's in the shot okay don't cut <laughs> because again the man is a trained samurai there are videos you can see of like people testing him and he'll like he's a showman of course he's an actor but he has that skill set like, the guy can be... You could throw something at his back and he can turn and cut it out of the air. Yeah. Like, you can watch those videos. It's I amazing. I think Tom Cruise does a good job. Like, yeah. like he's not a master, but no. he doesn't embarrass himself. I... Uh, honestly, I think I discount how much I enjoy Tom Cruise in this movie every time I watch it. Yeah. Because he's obviously... He's such a huge actor, and we all know that he's one of the most dedicated people to, sure. a, to a job yeah. that we know. But like, I he can, does amazing. I, I completely lose myself in his character, except when he's... Talking to his shadow, to Bob. Bob. Yeah, oh, and he's having that conversation. Yeah. For some reason, I always flash back to Rain Man. Interesting. And I don't know why, but that's the only scene in the movie where I remember that he's Tom Cruise. It's a great point. I really forget he's Tom Cruise sometimes. I mean, there are times where I'm like, okay, like only a couple actors in the world can look at you like that, and Tom Cruise is one of them. Sure. So other than those moments, I, I do kind of forget. And. Th- when it comes to dedication, we all know that the crazy stunts he does now, but he literally put in, like, think about how busy this, busy this man is. He put in months and months. That fight uh, when he's unarmed and then the, the bad, yeah, like, the samurai town. guys attack him, he can, he did, like, that was a one They shot it and it's cut up. But he trained and could do the entire fight in one go. Like, months, months of training just for that one fight. Like, it's, it's Tom Cruise and you have to have it. But it's such a disservice to me, like, uh, at least the DVD that I rented. Like, it's just a big picture of giant Tom Cruise's face. Yep. You know? Yep. Like, it's not Tom Cruise's story. No. And that's sure. what I love about the movie the most. Me too. Sure. Is I agree. It is Japan's story. It's about this time. Yeah. And these people. You're completely right. See, that was... But, you know what? The marketing department did their job. Sure. Because they're going to come to the director and the director's like, no, he's not the last samurai. This is about the sure. last samurai. And they're but... like, it's Tom Cruise. Do you want to but... make money? Here's your poster. Part of that's why <laughs> they have to do it. No, it's I think like... part of that's why I had the idea of like, ah, oh, the white savior shows exactly. up and helps some kind of thing because it's just like him with like a samurai suit. So yeah. I'm like, well, he's gonna be a samurai. That's sure. what they're gonna do with this movie. Yeah, it's but like, it's really not. I know Tom Cruise is crazy, but like I imagine at certain different peaks in their career, like if this was Kevin Costner or mm-hmm. Stallone, like their pride or their um, what's the word I'm looking ego? for? Ego. Their ego, mm-hmm. like would have made the story about them. Yep. And like I feel like Tom did not do that here. Yeah, like when you really think about that line he has at the end when he he offers his life to the emperor, like if you command it, I'll kill myself. And when you watch the movie, I don't really get the feeling that Algren, like I think that he respects that custom, but he doesn't see it in himself, and that's why he doesn't die in the battle, right? Mm-hmm. Like he doesn't kill himself too, but he respects his friend so much that. In order to give his message, he will do what his friend would do, yeah, which is sure. kill himself. Yeah, he, like, and I think that's the ultimate suspension of the ego and the self in order to help someone well, find he, an identity. He's holding his sword, and I feel like his soul is speaking to yeah. him. Oh, fuck. Sure, yeah, he's being point. possessed he by is. Kasumoto. It, oh, fuck. You made my favorite movie better. <laughs> <laughs> Does no, that's like, great. Does his like death wish through the movie though have any significance to that moment there? I like, think it through most of the movie you have him not caring if he dies, you know. So in that moment there, is it more to also of he's willing to give his life for a cause yes. versus just straight up dying? As well, well, I would say that that's something that Casamoto and him both yeah. bond over is that feeling of like we've seen too much. If we die, maybe it's not the worst thing in the world. Like I feel like at that point he learned the lesson of like you have to enjoy every moment of life every breath and Bushido yeah yeah so like it was not a an empty sacrifice at that point mm. like I feel like he was a changed man yeah it's like he believes in his life being more important but in this scenario I am willing to give my life 
as opposed to before, I wanted that. And now, I mean, you know, at the end of the year, like, he has people to go take care of. Mm-hmm. Sure. There's a few things, I guess, where, like, trying to think about it, what did he... Like, him drinking yep. when he comes back, is that him falling back into the Western mm-hmm. ways, or... I wasn't sure how to take like some things like that. I think that you whenever know? we see him, you mean when he's drinking with the lieutenant? Yeah, because they offer him whiskey. He's like, oh, no, I don't want any. Yeah. But like he had stopped drinking, and his nightmares were more at bay yeah. from his time in the village. Yeah. And then when he comes back, he's like, I need a drink. And he goes and gets a drink. And then yeah. he's drinking there whenever Bagley comes in, and he's giving him his money and stuff, yeah. too. And I mean, in terms of like a, a hero's journey, right? Like You have to have a moment in which you can leave now. Sure. I you guess know? it's true. Like, like in that, Algren yeah. could have now went and had and drunk himself to death. Bagley said in that moment, like, so you're leaving. Yeah. And, like, he was looking to leave. Yeah. But then he went back to go help after he said about, like, once he's dead, it won't matter. And then yeah. that kind of changes him. So, yeah. yeah he, he, couldn't, he couldn't stop thinking of Kasumoto in his home with that knife on the ground. Yeah. Like, Kasumoto's like, going to kill himself. I guess if I think about it that way, it's more of him, like, he can go back to what he used yeah. to be right now. And that's what he's, like, fighting against. Mm-hmm. Kind of like... Uh, no, Solo gets his reward, he can leave. You can leave, right? Yeah. Like, it's kind of like similar to that. And that's also no one, how he no deals with shame. Before. Yeah. You know, and he f- feels shame about being on this side of the, the war. Yeah. Like, how like, often can someone be in this situation twice? Sure. And be able to make up for a mistake you made so long ago? Yeah. I mean, I guess not make up for it, but maybe honor it. He, like, I, like sure. I love Cosmo's well, line. Or like, learn from the previous one, right? <laughs> yeah. He's learned from that, and he, he regrets it. And Cosmo says, you one. found your honor again. Help me die with mine. Right? Yeah. Like, that, oh. like, Algren's already done. He's already found his honor again. I love that line. I know. <laughs> so good. So did it live up to our expectations that we've constantly... Like, you haven't seen Last Samurai? This so one... Good. I, I cry, Aaron. This one definitely lived up more than, like, Tombstone. Yeah. Like, Tombstone, I felt like I talked up a lot. And it I was like, it was okay. And, and that's my fault. In Tombstone, like, it's a character. Sure. Or characters or moments. It's a Not character. Not the whole movie. The movie is flawed. This one, I've, I've really seen almost no flaws. It's a character. We watched it at a time and a place. Exactly. I feel like that it was special to us. Yeah. I feel like this is a little more timeless. Yeah, agreed. Absolutely. Timeless is a good word. But no, like we were saying, like if I if I want to say like some of the fight editing stuff is like an eight, yeah. I think most everything else for me runs on like a ten. Like I really awesome. enjoyed what the actors did, you know. Yeah. Like I cared about a lot of them yeah. more than I thought I would. Mm-hmm. Um, I was even a little sad that uh, damn, what's his name from Up Treasure Island? <laughs> Bill Connolly. Billy Connolly. <laughs> Billy Connolly. Uh, I was uh, a little sad that he died. You yeah, know, whatever that moment good. had. His uh, name was. Ned. Uh, Ned something I think Gant. Uh, Zeb Gant Zeb Zeb, yeah, Zeb Gant that's what it was yeah so like yeah like I just I, I, I enjoyed it us. <laughs> yeah he was good awesome. and you know uh, again I, I like what purpose does he serve in this movie like he is the western warrior mm-hmm. but not like the lieutenant that were like well fuck that guy no but, like you know he's here to, he's gonna well, say yeah, he's like, just as hard he's just as a colonist and just as a, you know like he's he's all the things that well in the very beginning whenever he starts shooting at the target things yeah. not the targets but whatever he was shooting yeah. everyone was like ah he's just like ah. yeah. like he's there smiling you know well, yeah it's interesting how warriors see other warriors it is like and my, I, I, okay I'm sorry now my uh, great grandfather fought in World War Two yeah and he fought in the eastern and western fronts mm-hmm. and he had a great respect for the Germans um, but. He hated the Japanese. Mm. Just sure, like. I mean, he, World War Two, Pearl Harbor. Yeah, well, he understood like the way the uh, that the Germans fought, and that right. was much closer to like the Japanese who never surrendered. Exactly, that kind of thing, right? Like, like when we're learning about an event like Pearl Harbor, and you have the kamikaze pilots, and you know you can have stories about how they're like you know no oh, they're all messed up and you know all that stuff, but when you look at it from a point of view of national pride and. And, sure. and stuff like that. It's like these men, like, turn themselves into bombs. Sure, yeah. you know? they are fighting for their country. Yeah. Like they and are fighting. I think that you know, in terms of looking at history, it's important to try to keep perspective, and not just be nationalistic, but try to be empathetic for, like what you said, old men convincing young men to die. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, like you know, the soldiers on the field, they have their own reasons to fight. Yeah. But they're not the ones making the war. Mm-hmm. Sure. And they're not really, for the for the long scheme of it, they're not getting anything out of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's Someone else it's, is profiting. I think it's important, <laughs> you know, setting this in a time period where the emperor is extremely young, 
So he's not one of the old men sending young men to die. He's sure. a young man that doesn't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's and important. I do like him, like, looking at uh, Katsumoto. Katsumoto, like, yeah. wanting direction, wanting yeah. to know what to do. Like, what what do I do? Teach yeah. me, you know? But, he's so earnest in that line. He's like, what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> you know? So the only people that he listens to are the ones who will tell him. His advisors. You know? Yeah. Like, he has that of the council and the advisors and stuff, and they are willing to tell him. <laughs> like and he's afraid of like if I don't do what they say then I won't be. I love when yeah, he shoves that sword in Omar's hands. It's like then do something about it. Was bitch. it if you, if, you, <laughs> if you feel too much shame? Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. Then take the sword. If you're so take shameful. The no, I, I I like a lot of it. The the visuals I think are really good. Mm. I love a lot of the stuff they show. Yeah. I love a lot of the stuff they say. Uh, there's a lot of like things come back in a circle, which I think is done really well. Yeah. Just story wise, music I thought was really good too. Like I love a lot of what they like the timing of when when it's I don't, I don't know there's just something about like the peacefulness that they have at right times and then the no music they have at other times yep. and then the intense music they have at other times yeah. like you were calling like the Gatling gun part like yep. there's you're you're pulling out the sound you could have yep. because of what you want people mm-hmm. to feel for that Gatling gun and what it's doing and everything yep. and it's, and it's just an audio wise it's contrast because really well. it's definitely a Western composition mm-hmm. like it's Western music yeah it is this yeah. is all American production but. In my opinion, one of the very few that feels like it's actually honoring a culture they're trying to tell a story about, as opposed to using it as a setting. Yeah. Um, Music-wise, definitely. Like Hans Zimmer, we know what Hans Zimmer can do when you give him a full orchestra. He can just do whatever he wants. He's a genius. But here, I felt like he's a, very, a little more understated, and he's trying to capture a lot of things. Like Ugio is... Like, what is his service in the story? He is the, the rage of the samurai and the skill of the samurai. Mm-hmm. Kasumoto is a... The philosopher. He's a philosopher. <laughs> he's a poet. He's he's the wandering warrior. He's the... He's the he's educated, it's, you know? It's the yin and the yang. Yeah. In a way. Um, Bob is, you know, what does he do? What is the... The one guy, the big guy, is like, he's still ugly, you know? Like, he all of his lines are... You know? And he's always, like, strong, and he puts him in a leg trap, and he's looking at the people, and, you know? But we see him in the battle. There's one shot where, I mean, yeah, you see him, like, throwing people and stuff, but mm-hmm. we, when Samurai are dying, we cut to him, and he's just, he's a wall crackling down with gunfire, you know? And, like, that utilization in that story, you, you, you spend so little time with that actor, but when he dies, it hits me hard, mm-hmm. you know? And there's so many great performances like that that hit me yeah. hard. They do a good job of, like, people in the village. Like, there's a lot of them there, but yeah. you you give a, enough time to a few people. Yeah. And then when you see them slowly dying off, it's it's yeah. meaningful. Like, from Bob to the, the ugly guy. Mm-hmm. Not and that he was ugly, but he said the ugly line. <laughs> like, yeah, you get the, the personage dying, but you are also seeing this way of life die, too. Yeah. yeah. And then I just also want to just, like... Praise the production because again, New Zealand, like that village they go to, everything there was built. Sure, like everything is intentional. It's not like, hey, let's go to a Japanese village and capture what we capture. No, like everything's so intentional. Like the some of the stunts in this, like it's all in camera. Sure, there's very little when the horses digital. are falling and stuff. The like at one point, there's like a guy you know how on top. How hard it is to make that look good. Yeah, it's so good. They brought like the best horse riders in the world to New Zealand for that. Yeah, I thought they all live there. They're There's like, a lot of Lord of the Rings. You and- know what? <laughs> You're right, and I'm sure if we go in and really try to deep dive into picking some of those shots, we'll see it. But many of the stuntmen here are Asian men, you know, mm. and it's not like there's a That's huge true. amount of stunt Asian men in New Zealand. They yeah. had to be brought in. But I will say, and it's, it's very similar with Lord of the Rings. Many of the amazing horse people in New Zealand are women. women. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll very much see. A female character with a fake beard, you know, and a helmet. Uh, but it's great. Uh, I could go on and on and on and on about this one, but is there anything else you guys... We were already pretty quick, um, far into the discussion. No. I mean, I, I we said about the oh. thing, too. I like that we yeah. didn't show the red armor's face or face, anything. Yeah. And yeah. I thought, like, as it slowly revealed, like, he is living with the family of the guy he killed. I'm like, yeah. oh, man. I mean, he killed a couple guys, I'm sure. But yeah. He definitely killed that guy at the end, and it. I think that just added more to it than just you're just living in a village, and this was just a samurai you killed, mm-hmm. you know. And then him to be like, yeah, uh, like you will honor us by wearing this armor. Like he has grown and earned respect and became part of them to for her to be like, 
going from being so ashamed of having him to, to wanting to kill herself to being like, you can wear my husband's armor. Yep. Like, it was just a, I, I like the natural growth that I felt for yeah, that. The arc. Like, it didn't feel like, well, this was pushed in here. Yeah. You know? It didn't feel unearned. Yep. Even no. If we didn't get it a lot. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, even the little boy coming in just giving that, that scroll, you know? Yeah. Just having that, I'm like, oh, I thought he was going to bring the sword at one point. I wasn't sure what he was doing, but you, you get the son is like has accepted him, and then you get like the mother has accepted him. So I, I, like I, that. I love the kids in this, even like the littlest, littlest boy, like me, 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 me. You know that kid? Like I, how, how wonderful, like the the personality of a child. It's so universal in yeah. so many cultures. I really enjoyed that dinner scene where like he's speaking Japanese and yeah. he, like it shocks the one guy. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. You know, he's like plates. You know, like here's a cup. You know, yeah. just but, slow down. <laughs> but then like it does such a good job too of like everyone. Is like loud and having fun and laughing. Hold on, I don't know why I did. I don't know why. You just just like, turn it off. You watch Animal Planet now. But I love that uh, the dinner is so chaotic and fun and crazy and stuff. And like yeah. that's a fun moment there. But then also you cut over to Taka, and mm -hmm. she's like not saying anything yeah. and head still down and whatnot. And you, so you feel that you feel that different type of emotion from her. And then you have the scene of like what she's really feeling from. Yeah. Uh, it's an understated thing, but like I said before, like when Taka feels shame, one well, of the men are like, "Well, deal with it." Yeah. When they feel shame, they have it's a matter of war and pride. But when the women do it, it's like well, they'll deal with it in the home. Yeah. The only thing I want to say mm. is, if you like this era, it's also covered in Rony Kenshin the anime. Mmm. <laughs> so I just want to play it. I've never seen Rony Kenshin, so I do play it in your head. I've seen if the, you like this yeah. anime. I think I've seen a scene from a movie. He yeah. has a movie, right? Like a live action movie? Uh, the, there's several movies. Okay. I think I've seen a scene or something yeah. where like he was fighting and I was like, that looks really cool. Oh, but man. Mm -hmm. What a journey someday it will be. Mm -hmm. I will look forward to it. <laughs> uh, I, I, I want to say I think my favorite scene after having watched so many times, I think my favorite scene is still the rain scene. Mm. The fight in the rain. Because it starts out with two boys playing at war. Mm -hmm. And then Ujio shows Algren that he's a boy playing at war. I just love that. I love that whole scene. Yeah. I could watch that whole scene on a desert island every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I really love it. Well, and it also shows like Algren's like, determination that he has, yeah. too. Like mm -hmm. He is not going to just sit there shamed yeah. and defeated. Yeah. It, it's the perfect, to me, it's the perfect... Uh, conflict of East versus West. Like, as a Western person, I have a lot of respect for someone that refuses to give up and keeps getting up, right? Mm -hmm. But as in the Eastern philosophy and the Japanese philosophy, like, you've lost. You should have great shame. And you keep getting back up. There's nothing respectable about that. You, you know, you're not accepting your shame. That's just ego. It's not heroics. And I can see both this point of view, and they are opposed. So yeah. I think that's, that's a really fun way to look at a lot of the scenes in this, but specifically that one. This versus Rocky, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. That was The what? Last Samurai, a movie that I've been looking forward to watching uh, with you for a very long time. Hmm. And now, we together can move on to other movies. You're no longer shamed having not watched it. <laughs> yep. Don't gotta kill yourself. Now we can see Rocky. Oh man, Rocky's good. Yeah, I don't know. We need to watch. I Rocky. might need some time because I I had this so high for myself. And Rocky, I like, but I think that I watched this. But one at it, it came out at a time that it was a, my formidable years. Sure. But also really solidified why I like stuff that I see in anime now. You yeah. know, or why I, <clears throat> you know, I marry a Japanese woman. Mm -hmm. Huh. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this reaction to The Last Samurai. If you want to see more movies, make sure you subscribe as we have a new one every Friday. And uh, you can also help us vote and choose some over at patreon.com slash blindwave. You can find links in the description. There's a few movies we've mentioned here. Rocky. We also talked about 300. Mm. I haven't seen that one either. Yeah, vote for Ernie Kenshin when I come here. <laughs>